Hello, welcome to Scrap Time. We're at Creativation and we finally had a chance to talk with Vicky. So excited! Who has a brand new collection with American Crafts and she's going to show us through and we're going to talk about it and see all the fun that is coming your way. Your way. Can't wait. So, Vicky Booten line, mixed media line with American Crafts. A lot of you guys know me. You know I like to scrapbook. I like to do mixed media. So I thought no one is really bringing the two together. So I want this to be first and foremost for scrapbookers who don't think they're an artist. Well, I'm going to show you. A lot of these layouts are one, two, three steps to get wow. So one, two, three, wow. And we're going to work on that and get all of you guys comfortable with getting your fingers dirty, right? Inky fingers, happy heart. Exactly. So we have some layouts we'll talk about in a second, but come with me. Come with me. Let's start with the product. So um, from my book years ago, Creative Foundations, you know that all of this that we do is building in layers. So the first thing when I came up with the concept of this line is color. So I started with these are great acrylic paints that are reasonably priced. Four paints in each pack in different color palettes, like a neutral, a cooler palette, a warm palette. They're nice and thick paints, so when you put it out, they'll stay put and you get great coverage. So started out with a nice paint colors and then went into one of my favorites, art crayons. These are water-soluble art crayons. They have eight different colors in each set, a cool palette, a neutral palette, and a warm palette. These you can use like an oil pastel or you can use with water and they're heavily pigmented so you um, the crayon will last a long time. So you have these colors, these colors, and then the next thing I like to do when I'm building my layers is texture. So I came out with a layer, uh, two different um, stencil sets to start. There's three stencils in each pack, a circle set and a linear set. When we use those, I need something to put in it to add texture. I started with three basic uh, mediums that I use all the time. There's a gesso, there is a matte acrylic gel medium, this is more fluid, and then a glaze. The glaze is a heavier body, so it works well when I'm pulling it through a stencil. And then the WOW product that I came out with that I'm really excited about is the silver glaze, the gold glaze, and the iridescent glaze. And I'm just gonna peek over so I can show you some little cards where you can see. This is the silver glaze and I want you to be able to get the metallic. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. Isn't that pretty? That's it troweled on. That's it painted on with water. Mm -hmm. There's a gold and there is an iridescent. Isn't that awesome? It's like unicorn in a bottle. Oh, see? Lots of unicorns unicorn in a bottle. Show. So uh, that is a look too at the watercolor crayons. And signature Vicky rainbows and butterflies. You know I like the bright colors. So that's a peek at what they look like as an oil pastel and what they look like as uh, watercolor. So we have all of this fun going on. And then of course I want something to put that final layer of texture. I came out with two color palettes, a silver and gold metallics. We have a chunky metallic, which is a mica, but it almost uh, duplicates a like gold foil or that kind of gold layer, but a chunkier layer. You have a faux glass glitter, a chunky glitter, and a fine glitter. And I'm gonna grab this layout so I can show you how easy it can be to create. So this layout here, you see the painted background. I thought, okay, I'm comfortable with taking a sheet of paper blank cam canvas and putting the paint directly on. To make this even easier, what I did is like a faux printing. So I took the paint, I painted a background on a sheet of plastic, like a mylar sheet, misted it with water and I stamped with it because it's almost foolproof. Then I can get the paint to go exactly where I want it and um, you're not so nervous with placement or am I gonna mess it up? The other thing is it's less water on your paper so it's not gonna buckle as much because you're controlling all of it on that acetate sheet that's, that's non-porous. So you do that layer, that's one layer with the paint. I let it dry. The next one I went in with the glaze. So with the gold glaze, I went in and I troweled it on with a palette knife or an old hotel room key, old gift card, whatever you have troweled that on and let that dry. 
Once that's dry, I went in with my medium. You could go in with the more fluid medium or you could drag on the glaze to have, it's gonna work as your adhesive and float your um, embellishment, the glitters in. You always start with the chunkiest glitter to the finest glitter so that you can get the, the bigger pieces placed and then fill in. So literally one, two, three steps to get this. And then here, I just die cut a, a word. It's one of the Just Nick um, cut files in watercolor paper. And then the watercolor you see is the art crayons. So they're really pigmented that I just took my watercolor brush on the tip of the crayon and filled that in. So super easy, die cuts out of my paper, really easy to do. It doesn't have to be difficult. So that's kind of the mediums that I used. Let's get into the other step or the other section that I have. Stamps and dies. So we came out with four. We have branches, we have some leaves, uh, pardon me, feathers, we have flowers, and we have moths. And the idea is I want these to work with the branches. I always like to have like a little twig that they can land on or that I have I can use as stems for the flowers. And then of course I like to have a fun background which is kind of a book paper background. What's nice too is all these sets come with steel roll dies, so it's all in one set. So right, we have our, our stencils, our stamps and dies, and then our next layer would be, look at these, these are watercolor stickers. So you have a set of eight sheets of watercolor stickers that you can then customize to fit whatever uh, you're working on. So that's exciting, and they're nice and thick, a heavy card, so they hold the water really well and the adhesive is good on them. Next layer to go with all of that is, look at how fun these are, the little metallic word strip stickers. Hope you can see that. Mm -hmm. I love it. And they're just, they're great. They'll work great for card makers, scrapbookers, planner ladies. Like it's supposed to be art for everyone. It's not really limited to just one use. I love die cuts. I didn't want one die cut pack. I wanted three die cut packs. So we have one that's die cut shapes, one that's frames, and then one that's a mix of labels and little journaling blocks. And then all of these items layer with that. Washi tape, because you can never have enough. And look at the metallic on that one. And it's nice and opaque, super sticky, good washi. And then of course color, because I'd have to have that in there. And if you notice, it's a uh, varying sizes as well silver rub-ons so if you're afraid of the stamping it's a great way to get an impression that's nice and clean when all of your mediums are dry we have some pens these pens are super fun i have a sample of it here sorry somewhere in here there they are it almost looks like a chalk pen everybody's been doodling with those and loving them um, it's more of a medium <laughs> width or uh, the pen is like a medium pen so it's nice and thick so you could make art with it or write with them that's a lot of fun some basics a black a gold and a white the roller stamp which I like to use for backgrounds that kind of covers some adhesive some metals magnetic bookmarks which are fun these tag sheets are awesome there's a whole whack of patterns in there I like to use those as another layer and now I want to share something I'm really excited about. This is reactive tissue paper. So with this tissue paper, I'm just going to grab a layout to show you. All of your pigment is in the paper. So when you take the lightest color and crumple the darker color of, pig, of the paper on top, mist with water, you get this tie dye or batik effect. All the pigment is in the paper, so all you need is the water to make the magic happen. And here's another peek at. I only had this product for a couple of days before I came out to the show. So I tried to whip a couple of things up I could do with it. This is Tim Holtz um, stamping paper. So it's the Ranger stamping paper, so it has a nice coating on it. I took my green, uh, lighter green tissue, colored the background with it, literally put it on, misted it, and deposited some color. I took a die cut I had laying around, layered it on top, put the navy on top and just misted the heck out of it. Peeled that off and then I was left with this great impression. The fun thing is, is none of those tissues, once they're used, are done. You can then use them to make die cut flowers. Like it's not uh, use the color and throw it away. It's a multi-purpose product. So I'm really excited. Everyone's been really excited about that one. 
And then of course, I'm not done. The other thing that I want to talk about is a lot of ladies are always like, oh, I can't do these, this art, I don't have any time. Well, I'm gonna find time for you. This is your art to go book. So the idea with this, it's pretty because it's important, but you open it up and the stencils fit inside. I have a water brush or um, art brush little placket with the paint brushes that fit in the um, binder and it has the same binding holes as the other products that I have and that will come with this line. And what's nice is I also did a junk journal. So that's the packaging for the junk journal. And I'm gonna show you one out of the box. The holes, the binding holes are the same for that as well because these are the two things I travel with. I have whatever I need. It's not to store everything I have, it's to store what I need on the go. And then I do a little play journal. So when I'm away, I can practice with my washi tapes, my paints, and kind of plan out backgrounds and playing with the mediums. When I'm ready to sit down and finish a project, I can kind of use this as a recipe book. The other thing I can use it for, of course, is a scrapbook, travel journal. Later, when I have more of the stencils coming out, you could actually store anything that fits in the art journal. You could use these as storage binders as well. So that's kind of exciting. And to wrap it up, the pages that you can get to go in here are in a watercolor paper, a craft, and a mixed media paper. So the difference, they're all heavier card. This has a nice tooth, and this is a smoother, depending on what techniques you wanna do. And then one more thing, I have inks to show you, because this is kind of exciting, in two color palettes. So they're color wheels. But the fun thing is, when you take the lid off, the inks slide out. So it's great when you, um, it'll look pretty in your studio, because like I said, that's important, the packaging's important. And then if you're traveling with it, the lid fits on nice and tight, you can take it with you, and they stamp beautifully. In my art journal, I did a little sample, because I wanted to see what the ink looked like, but they're great pigment inks. Nice, crisp, clean, vibrant color. So that gives you kind of an idea of how they stamp. And the one last thing, I promise one last thing. Oh, I have two last things. I haven't showed you the paper yet. <laughs> Is the art tin. I love this. I love pretty storage. So this one turned out better than I could have hoped. It has a little arm to keep it open and it shuts for tools of the trade. Isn't that fun? Very cool. And let's show the paper. Cause you're probably thinking, how did Vicky do a line with no scrapbooking paper? Well, we did but we did it in a paper pad with all the pretty papers. And then at the bottom, there are also specialty papers. So you have your gold foil and you have acetate sheets. This one is clear, as you can see. Fireworks and some leaves or feathers. So I think that's everything. I don't oh know, God, there's Vicky, lots in there. Amazing. What do you think? It's, it's fun. Cool. Something for everybody, for sure. And samples you will be want coming. It. No matter what you do, you'll want at least a piece of this. Yeah, and samples will be coming. I'm working on YouTube videos so I can explain it all and show you all the different techniques you can do with it. But I'm happy you came and took a peek and I'm glad I got to see you guys. So, uh, hi from Creativations and hi from the Vicki Booten booth and I can't wait to share more with you. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give our video a thumbs up and subscribe to Scrap Time videos on YouTube to be the first to see all our videos from Creativation.